there are a wide range of applications for deep compression and also hardware acceleration. Uh, the first scenario is surveillance camera. So surveillance camera is a large business uh, growing very rapidly in recent years. So especially bringing in AI on the edge make it possible for us to process lots of the data locally without having to rely on data center. Another application is self-driving. So for self-driving cars, we are limited by a small form factor and also the heat, the reliability, the speed. This frame rate has to be more than 30 frames per second in real time. And you have to process multiple sensors um, to do sensor fusion at the same time. That's a lot of computation. So efficient hardware and methods for deep learning really help uh, those applications. So beyond my research, I started a startup to commercialize these techniques, including deep compression and hardware acceleration. Uh, we started a company called DeFi Tech, which I co-founded in two thousand, late 2015, uh, providing efficient solutions for, um, for deep learning computing. Uh, we offer model compression techniques. We offer hardware acceleration uh, IPs on FPGAs. So this is one of the modules that we build for, for surveillance cameras. Uh, we can uh, run neural networks on this small board with very low power. Um, and we are attracting lots of customers. And our company has recently been acquired by Xilinx uh, to make even larger impact. So my research had some impact uh, at companies like Facebook and Google, where I previously did internship. Uh, this is a project I did uh, at inter uh, while I was interning at Facebook, uh, helping them compressing the model and running on the phones by eight times so that they can run those fancy AR uh, effects in real time on a mobile phone uh, to do object detection, segmentation, etc. Uh, so th that, that brings AI uh, to millions of customers. Yeah. So my PhD thesis focused on compressing deep neural nets by um, relying on human heuristics. And recently what I'm working on is by using, using uh, AutoML to automatically uh, design efficient neural network architectures, make them smaller, and design hardware architectures. Um, since human exploring the design space is very limited, but you want to have a automated tool chain to do this design space exploration. So from the um, commercial perspective, you have, if you have, say, 10 customers, then you can, of course, throw 10 engineers serving each customer. But when suddenly the business grow up, so you have a thousand customers, you want to have an automated tool chain rather than relying on a thousand engineers to help each customer to make the business more scalable. So we are working on that research direction uh, by um, hardware-aware AutoML to optimize both the algorithm and hardware in an automatic way.